Hello guys, there you go. Another problem with the springs. Once again, forget about the air springs. Imagine those are forces. And we have done problems with forces like this before. Determine, but the problem is asking you to determine the stretching of each spring for equilibrium of the 20 kilogram cylinder. Forget about, once again, the air springs. If the problem is asking stretching, remember you have force equal K times stretching and stretching is equal to force divided by the constant. Do we have the constant? Yes, we do. Can we calculate the forces? Hopefully we can. You better can, because that's what we have been working for some time now. So then no problem, because the problem just is, at the end, find each one of the forces and divide each one of the forces by the constant of the springs. Once again, remember free body diagram. In this case, there are several free body diagrams because the maximum amount of unknowns that we can have in a particular particle equilibrium free body diagram in 2D is 2 if we want to solve it in statics. So this is going to be 20 kilograms multiplied by 9.81 to convert it into newtons. 20 times 9.81 is 196.2 196.2 newton and now we start look we have this if we want to calculate immediately the first stretching of the spring we can this is the force this is the constant so for a spring ad i can say a stretching of ad is equal to the force this is the only force 196.2 divided by the constant 400 newton per meter and the stretching of that spring AD AD will be 196.2 divided by 400 that will be 0 0.4905 0 0.4905 meters so first one ready now if you look at this free body diagram you have this weight acting in this direction, which is going to be the same weight acting in that direction because this is something the problem is not stating, but this is a pulley and it has to be frictionless pulley. Otherwise, we should have a bunch of other values here, like the diameter of the 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 pulley and the friction coefficients of the materials, etc. And then we have this tension here, which is the same weight. Uh, which should be the same way that is applied here, the same value here. And we can move to this other side, and then you have this, and you have that. This one we know is 196.2, and this is the one that we have to calculate. So we have AB and AC. And then we can calculate alpha, and we can calculate beta. Alpha, it will be inverse tangent of... 4 divided by 3 inverse tangent I'm trying to hit the sweet spot here 4 divided by 3 so you can see the calculator 53 point 13 degrees and beta beta this one will be inverse tangent of 3 divided by 3 meaning 45 degrees. Now we know the angles. And we know this is the force AB, and we know this is the force AC. What do we do? Two unknowns, particle equilibrium, summation of forces in X equals zero, summation of forces in Y equals zero. What do we have in X? We have this component for AB, this component for AC. What is the value for this component for AB? That will be AB cosine alpha, because it's adjacent to alpha. To the right, we're assuming this once again, positive to the right and up, plus this component for AC, and that will be AC cosine beta, 
cosine beta, 45 degrees. And then we have this force going to the left, minus, minus 196.2. But I really want to pass it to this side, just to skip one step of coping. So I'm going to pass it to this side uh, as positive. And then we do summation of forces in y equals 0. What do we have in y? We have this component for AB and this component for AC. This component for AB will be AB sine of the angle because it's opposite. AB sine of alpha going up. This component for AC will be AC sine of beta, but it's negative because it's going down. And we don't have anything else acting in the y direction here, so equals zero. Surprise, surprise. System of equations, two equations, two unknowns. Let's solve that two by two. First term, this one, cosine of 53.13 plus cosine 45 equals, oops, yeah, 196.2. Second equation, sine 53.13 minus sine 45 equal zero. zero. So, and then we get the x and y. Remember, x is AB, 140.14 Newton, and y will be our other variable, AC. 158.55 Newton. Once we have that, we already got the stretching of this spring. If I want to calculate the stretching of the spring AB, will be what? Will be the force divided by the constant AB, 300. Remember, this is Newton and this is Newton over meter. Coherent units here all the time, please. So 140 divided by 300, 140.14 divided by 300 is 0.467 meters. And a stretching of the spring AC will be the force in AC. divided by the constant AC, 200. And that will be 158.55 divided by 200, 0 0.7093, 0 0.793 meters. Answer, a stretch of each spring, a stretch of AB, a stretch of AC, and a stretch of AD. Don't. I hope that by now you don't, you're not scared of the springs. At least not as much as you were before. Keep watching. Thank you for watching.